All right, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to get some custom crosshairs on Left 4 Dead 2. A few people asked me in the chat recently, my boy Grind asked, so I had to make a tutorial for him, you know. So I got the two links that you'll need in the description. It's going to be quick and easy. The first link is going to be a Google Drive. You're going to need two files from here first. You're going to need the config file right here, and then you're going to scroll down. You're going to get this mumble file right here. You're going to download those, put them somewhere you remember. Then you're going to come to the other link, which is going to be the source forge link. You're going to scroll till you find mumble dash 1.2.8 MSI. This one right here, just MSI. You're going to download that, install it, run it. And then once it finishes running, you're going to go to the mumble installation folder. And you're going to look for mumble underscore OL. And then you're going to rename that something to where it's a backup so you can keep the original i rename mine mumble backup oh well and then you're going to take uh the mumble oh well that you downloaded from the drive and just paste it right in the directory that's the first part and then you're going to take the config file that you downloaded from the drive and you're going to navigate to your left for dead 2 directory and you're going to paste that right uh in here wherever your exe file is and you're going to paste it right there there's the config file and when you open it, you can change how many crosshairs you want, like however many you need. Then you just click save and exit. And for the final part, you're gonna go back to the drive. You're just gonna look through the crosshairs, see which one you want, download the ones you want. And when you download them, make sure you name them X hair one, X hair two, you know, in sequential order, which ones you want and whatnot. And you're gonna paste those right in the Left 4 Dead 2 directory as well. See, I got X hair one, X hair two. Then after that, you just, you know, start up your game normally. And once your game starts, go wait to the main menu. Or even you can do it when the head pops up. You just press insert and the crosshair should pop up. And also you want to be sure if you haven't already that when you get in the game, you disable your end game crosshair. And to do that, you open the console and then you type in crosshair space zero and then press enter and your crosshair should be away you should be good to play it's the easiest thing you've ever done thanks for watching